What's up guys, Learning with Rich here. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to create a straight stairs. Okay, so this is the continuation of our Revit 2022 for architecture. So as you can see, I'm on the 01 entry level. And this is where we are gonna place our straight stairs. Okay, so but first, what I'm gonna do is I'm going to select one of the column here. And then I'm going to select here selection box to create a 3D view of that column. And then after that, if you still remember, for us to be able to show the section box, just make sure on the properties here, uh, section box is already checked. And then after that, just click here, this reveal hidden elements. So click that one. And then you should be able to see your section box there. So you just click that section box and then just unhide it. Okay, and then after that, just close the reveal hidden elements mode. All right, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and select again the 01 entry level. And then I wanna see the other view side by side. So that's why I'm gonna select your tile views or you can type WT for the shortcut. Okay, just click that one. And then after that, here's now your 3D view. Okay, and then I'm going to click the section box and it should be highlighted here on our uh, floor plan. So now I can control the shape of my section box on the floor plan. Okay, so this is where we are going to place our uh, straight stairs. Okay, so as you can see, there's already an opening here. So a shaft opening is already created here. So if I'm going to select that, so that's a shaft opening. Okay, so now if you're wondering how to create the shaft opening, so you can just go to the architecture and then you can go to the opening and then that's your shaft opening. So basically you just need to create the shape or the boundary of your shaft opening and then you just need to specify the level on the properties okay so here's my shaft opening you can specify here uh, where uh, where your shaft opening will gonna be starting and then after that you can specify uh, specify up to what level your shaft will gonna end okay so it will create an opening to your floor in this instance okay Right, anyway, I'm gonna show you how to modify your shaft opening later on after we create our stairs. All right, to, to start with, from the architecture, I'm going to go to the circulation panel and then there's our stair. So I will be doing that here in my 3D view. So maybe I'm just gonna start in this area and then later on, I'm going to move it here, right? Okay, so I'm gonna select your stair and then from the type selector, just select the 6 inches max riser, 12 inches thread type of stair here. So it's an assembled stair. So again, if you want to have the exercise file, just comment on the uh, description or on the comment section of this video. Just put your email address and then I'm going to send you the the exercise file so that you'll be able to follow the exercise all right so i'm going to select this type and then um, i'm going to change here the actual run width from the options bar so instead of uh, three feet i'm going to make that five feet four inches okay so that's the actual run, uh, run width and then here Okay, so desired number of risers, I'm going to choose 25 and the actual riser height is automatically created. Well, anyway, if you want to modify this one, go ahead. I'm not going to touch this one. I'm just going to use the default settings of this stair. So it will start at the zero entry level and then it will end at zero to floor level. All right, so let's start. So from the mode panel so make sure you are selecting the run here and then we will be using straight so as you can see there are other options here to shape up your stairs right but for this one let us just create a straight here okay so just select that one and then after that uh, i'm gonna click somewhere here okay and then as you move your pointer notice that 
it will show there the risers created and then the remaining riser, right? So the total that we have selected here is 25. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to create 12 risers. So now it says 12 risers created. You see this at the bottom of the stair sketch. So it says uh, 12 risers created. That's the one. And then I'm going to click. There you go. So there's my first landing. So I'm going to move my pointer. So let's say somewhere here. I'm just going to uh, approximate. Okay. Or if you want, you can uh, specify an exact distance. So you can select here. Uh, you can just press escape once. And then as you can see, there's the temporary dimension that is appearing. So from there, so once you see that appears, the temporary dimension, you can type now the distance that you want. So let's say uh, 4 feet. So I'm going to type 4, enter, and it will now start again there. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to make it 12 risers created again, and then 1 remaining. Okay, so I'm going to select that one. There you go. All right, so the reason why we make it uh, one riser remaining, we end the flight at this point, okay? So at this point, so that it needs the edge of the floor above. So in this example, the floor edge will be used and count as the final riser, okay? So because the floor edge will count as the final riser. That's why we leave one riser remaining. So again, we end the flight at this point so that it needs the edge of the floor above. So in our example for this one, the floor edge will be used and count as the final riser. So because the floor edge will count as the final riser. Okay. Now, the next thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to use a window selection like that. And then I'm going to use the move tool. And then I'm going to click this midpoint here. And then I'm going to snap at the midpoint of that uh, sketch. There you go. So here is that one in the 3D view. Okay. And then after that, just go to the modify create stair tab and then just finish it. That's it. Click. There you go. And then there's the warning. So stair top end exceeds or cannot reach the top elevation of the stair. Add remove risers at the top end by control or change the stair runs relative top height parameter in the properties palette. So just ignore this one. Okay, so I'm just going to close this one because this is the stair that we want to create. So as you can see, there is now the stairs. Okay, it's attached to that floor. There you go. And then after that, so maybe what I'm going to do next is I'm going to create a section. So I select uh, the section tool, this one. And then I'm going to pick here, first point. And then I'm going to pick another point here. And then where's that one? Okay, so let me just adjust it up to this point. All right, and then I'm going to open the section by double clicking the section head and there you go so there's now our stair so what i'm going to do is i'm going to click the stair now let me just adjust it first here in the 3d view all right let me just adjust all the way to the roof there you go okay so i'm going to select the stair here and then after that you can see here that there is a multi-story stairs panel right so I'm going to click select levels because I want that to be copied here up to the third level. So I'm going to select select levels here and then make sure connect levels here is check. And then I'm going to click the third floor. There you go. And then after that, select check here to finish. That's it. And there you go. You just created now your stairs. Okay. So as you can see, there you go in the 3D view. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to modify the, the shaft opening because as you can see, okay, so what I want to do is I want to put some 
stair here. Uh, I mean, a uh, slab under the stair here so that it doesn't look like it's floating. That's so why what I'm going to do is I'm going to create or modify the shaft opening. So to modify the shaft opening, so I'm going to I'm going to click the shaft opening. So where is that? There you go. So there's the shaft opening. So click that one and then I'm going to edit sketch. So you click edit sketch and there you go. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to align. So where's my align tool? So here's the align tool. I'm going to align that line there under this here. So I'm going to press tab to click that small line there. So press tab once, tab again, tab again. There you go. And then click. So there's our alignment. And then after that, you click now your sketch here. All right. So it's now aligned there. And then after that, just finish edit mode. And then click outside. And there you go. So at least it's not floating anymore. So it's now under the, so there's now a slab under the stair. Okay. So that's it. Okay, so that's it for this simple exercise. So basically, uh, that's how you create your straight stair. Okay, so again, if you have any comments, questions, or suggestions, you can put it on the comment section below and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Once again, thank you for watching, guys. Have a nice day.